Hello everybody and welcome back to Student Life. But today I'm here to tell you my top three tips for maintaining a healthy relationship whilst at university. So, I have completed my first year of university and during the first year I have experienced being in a long term relationship with my boyfriend. It was hard, don't get me wrong, but we are here to talk about how we can maintain that, how we can keep it positive and happy and just basically what I've learned through experience of first year university. So me and my boyfriend lived 150 miles away. My boyfriend lives in Liverpool, which is where I am right now. And I lived all the way back in Lincoln in university. I'm happy to say that we are still together. It is definitely possible and you should not be worrying about it. So tip number one, when you go to university, I do find that it's really important that if you have a partner, you make sure to give each other plenty of space. It's really easy to get into a habit of constantly wanting to talk to your partner so because obviously you guys are so far apart both as excited as each other if you're the person who's living away you want to tell your partner absolutely everything every second of the day tell them what's going on and if you are the partner who is living at home then you want to know what's going on you want to know all the exciting things you want to make sure your partner's okay but it is really really important to make sure you have time for yourselves and have a little bit of space don't overcrowd each other um otherwise it just gets too much it gets too much my second tip for maintaining a healthy relationship whilst at university is probably going to contradict my first tip but is also to make time for each other like i said before once like fresh as has passed you do constantly want to be talking to your partner and keeping in touch with them but for example during events like freshers it's really hard to keep in touch with your partner frequently because you're always doing something there is just it's just so crazy during freshers and it can be the same a lot of time throughout university because obviously you are a student and there is a lot of events on to um, attend and you're making new friends and you really want to get to know them, you get really excited, you want to spend a lot of time with them and that is completely understandable but I also think it is really important that you make time for each other. You know, I would, I would, I would wake up in the morning and the first thing I would do would be contact my boyfriend and say to him, you know, I've got a really busy day today. I'm probably not going to be able to speak to you. Um, would I be able to chat to you on the phone tomorrow? You know, you really don't have to keep each other updated with every single second of your life. You just don't have to do that. I just think it's important to kind of update each other on what's going on so that the other one doesn't worry sick about the their partner. Okay, so my third and final tip, which is probably, I think, the most important tip out of all of them is to make time to see each other whilst you're at university in my experience because of the distance it was really quite expensive for me and my boyfriend to see each other i think it was about if he had a rail card it was about 40 pounds to get the train to liverpool or lincoln and um, to see each other and it was also four four and a half hour journey which is a really long time to be on a train so um, we found it really important to kind of sit down together and say I'm free this date, this date, this date or I have a reading week this week um, I'm home this week and we would just sit down for a few hours together and work everything out, work out when we're free, work out what dates we can book off work if you, if you have work you can book it off and we would book it, we would kind of plan all this in advance so that we could save all of our money and we would be able to afford a train or if you can drive then you can afford enough to you know pay your petrol money even just like saving up the money to get the train down to see your partner will mean so much to them and they will appreciate it so much and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i really do hope that these tips help you or make you feel a little bit of re reassurance if you are in a relationship right now and you're moving away from university hopefully this video has made you feel a little bit better give you a little bit of confidence and um, please do not forget to follow us on all of our social medias which i'll put somewhere on the screen just look out for it <laughs> and please don't forget to hit subscribe to us here at student life for plenty more videos hopefully i shall see you again soon i hope that you all have a lovely remainder of your day and have a lovely evening and yeah goodbye
Bye-bye.